Hello everyone, let's see how to make a sequence. In this video, we'll show an example of a simple sequence of how to fill and empty a tank. Make sure that you have Schneider Electric .app sequence library referenced and up to date. If you don't know how to do it, please watch our video, How to Change Library Reference. On the App Sequence Library, drag and drop the sequence head CAT. This function block is used to start the sequence structure and control the operational state of the sequence. There is a permission to start a sequence. In this example, we link it to the PLC start. Now we need two sequence steps, one to fill the tank and one more to empty the tank. We have a simple logic to simulate the level of the tank by a ramp output. Here, we have its symbolic link. You need a sequence terminate to end a sequence. Link all your elements together with a sequence chain adapter. Don't forget to map your blocks. Now we want to add an action for each step. We can use either the output interface events or we can add an action. Initialize parameters of the action step. One can have different types of action cats. More information about them and required data for these blocks can be found in the help documentation. Let's make our logic to compare the level of the tank. Link the condition of the tank level to pass the transition of the step. Here, you have to add the transition step ID, which is the next step number to execute. The current step has ID number 1, and we want to execute the ID number 2. ID number 3 corresponds to the sequence terminate block. Focus point. You need to add the function block dpack underscore full init inside the resource of your device for a software and hardware initialization. Also, for sequence initialization, you have to add the block event chain head, as shown here. Don't forget to add the constant name seq underscore init. Now, let's create a canvas. Don't forget to save your solution. Drag and drop your application's cat instances. Each step and transition name, as well as a comment, can be modified in the Properties tab. Once your canvas is ready, start the HMI. You can see your sequence running. That's it. Now you know how to make a sequence.